everyone, it's Nona Grace, and my internet is back on. So, yay, Jim goes, yay. Oh, whoa, where am I from? I thought you were just going, hooray. <laughs> he wasn't. He wanted to know where I'm from. I am from Western New York, and my name is Nona Grace. I believe I covered that. Well, my internet is back on. See, I got excited about the internet being back on. Yesterday, it came back. It was gone most of the day. In fact, I called Jim on my little tiny track phone and said that if he has to call me, he's going to have to call me on that because the other, the our house phone is connected with the internet. It's through the cable company. And um, if the cable is out or the internet is out, my phone is out too. But we do have, um, I do have a little track phone, and it's got seven days left on it. And I do have another card, so I can load it on when it does die. I um, don't use it very often. In fact, I rarely use it, very rarely use it. And now that with this new um, phone line, when it's working, we can actually call long distance and not cost us anything whereas before we had so many minutes were good for long distance and then anything over that would have been it would have cost us so a lot of times we would use the cell phone to do um, long distance or my little track phone I would use to do long distance because I had so many minutes to eat up so that's what I wanted to tell you that it came back on yesterday the only way I was able to post was Jim does a hot spot with his phone and my house sits on some crazy um spooky i don't know what it sits on we sit on something that affects cell phones they they maybe not ring at all here or if they do ring you have to go by a window or a door or up on the hill for you to even talk on it because the signal won't come in so i don't know what it is that that affects them so that's why to have the landline is actually better for me because I really wouldn't be getting any phone calls at all. And the phone calls I do get are, like people have said, they're just telemarketers or people that are calling to say. In fact, I had <clears throat> one call. It called several times. Um, I think it was Chase Bank. I don't even have Chase Bank. But they were saying that my account shows that I'm now qualified for whatever kind of... Um, mortgage or something and I'm thinking I don't have a mortgage and I don't have Chase Bank this is crazy so I would hang up each time and they must have called probably four or five times and then finally they gave up then I was getting phone calls from another one that was saying that my Apple device was um, the iCloud was compromised or something like that and I thought hmm I don't even have an iCloud account so I um, pushed, it says push two if you want to hang up. So I pushed two and I hung up. And then they called back again. It says push one if you want to speak to a, a representative. Push two if you want to hang up. So I thought, well, I'll push one and see what happens. This is probably the third call that I've gotten from them. The first time I just hung up. And I pushed one and the person was not even speaking very good English, said, well, how can I help you? And I says, well, I keep getting these calls about my iCloud account. I don't have an iCloud account. I don't even know what it is. And she hung up on me. And so that was the end of those calls. So they were probably phishing also. A lot of these phone calls that I get, like you said, are not for me. They're just bothersome calls. Today when I was watching Fritzy, she was talking about... Um, there was, I guess, some man that was really feeble looking and um, she wanted to buy him something to eat because he was really very hungry. He hadn't eaten in a few days. Well, anyways, her phone rang. She she does her, her videos with her phone and her phone rang. And right at the same time her phone rang, my phone rang. And it was one of those crazy phone calls <laughs> that came through. But I actually turned the TV down and listened again. I says, was that her phone only or was that my phone and her phone? Well, it was my phone and her phone. So I answered and it was that crazy phone call looking about my Apple Cloud, Cloud Apple, Apple, or Cloud and Apple. iCloud. iCloud account, whatever it's called. Yeah, that, that account. 
Um, today when I would um, crump, I was I answered all my comments and I thank all of you for shouting out your channels and if you still want to shout them out, I would be very glad if you did. And thank you, Susie. Susie did an actual, she did a video. I don't know how she does it, but she's actually got me in there. Um, but she did a shout out of my shout outs that if you would like to shout out your channel, that it's a uh, something that we would like you to do she's going to do it every month i'm only going to do it on the months that have 31 days because she's doing it i think on the 23rd of the month i think is her number that's when her birthday her birthday's on that number whereas my birthday's on the 31st so i thought well maybe i should just choose the 31st as my number and not all months have 31 days so i will do it just on the months that have 31 days I'll do this shout out too. And if you'd like to do where you um, offer someone to to brag about their channel, it's great. Just put it in there and they can they can put a description of their channel and tell you what it's about and maybe somebody will find it. That's how I find a lot of channels. In fact, there was a few that um, shouted out on mine that I had never heard of. And it was great because I get to check them out and I get to watch their videos. And I like it when I see their subscriptions. So many of you hide your subscriptions. Why do you hide them? Don't hide them. Because you could tell me you've subscribed to me, but unless I can see my little icon, I don't know because I've had others say they have and the numbers don't go up. You know, numbers tell the truth sometimes. And um, I do look to see if I'm if your if your subscriptions are opened or closed. And if they're opened, I do look for myself. And if I find myself, then you're an automatic yes. I'm going to be watching you. If your subscriptions are closed, well, I'll watch you, but I can't guarantee unless I'll be back because I didn't subscribe, so I won't get any notifications. But if you comment on my video again, then I will be back. So that's how I keep coming back. Because if you so if you comment, I comment. And there was somebody else that wrote that in their description that I think it was Jackie's Kitchen. I think she mentioned that if you make a comment on hers, she comments back. I think just about everybody that I watch comments back. Um, there's been very few that have commented not commented back. I think all of them have in some way or another. They have commented back which i even on, on my comments i get comments again and it's a good thing i scroll back down through because i check to see if there's some somebody that i may have missed and when i go through i see oh somebody commented on my comment because when i see the comments on my ipad which is an apple device <laughs> but i don't have icloud um i don't get the full comments so I have to go over onto the computer and I go onto the computer and I look to see what the comment is and I'm surprised when I got a comment against uh, with my comment it it always surprises me and I try to answer again if I don't have anything to say I'll just give you a heart so you do know I read it and this way you you've you've got it now oh I was I think I was gonna say this I oh, forgot boy. oh boy it went <laughs> Wait off the charts. Squirrel. Yeah, well, whatever. That's what people say. I never heard squirrel until YouTubes. <laughs> I had oh, never yeah, heard we, it. We, we have a guy at work that uh, is like that. I had never heard it until somebody said it on YouTube about squirrel when, you, when you're going to talk about something and, and like something ran by. I guess it's, it's it, like it, it distracts you or something. And well, dogs. Dogs? Yeah, dogs will see a squirrel run by and, and all of a sudden they're, they're, they're off gone and, so, and they don't hear or you. Or they'll see another one and they'll be off after that. <laughs> oh, is that how it came about? Well, anyways, yeah. what I was going to say is when I Chromecast you to my TV, I come into the kitchen because it's time for me to stand up and move about a little bit. But I don't move about a lot because I'm standing and crocheting, but I don't sit down, I, I stand. And so I was making for my other Apple device. <laughs> it's, I, made, I made this little cover for my little iPod. This thing I only use when I do my walk class. I don't use it otherwise. 
um, when I would do my walk class, I would, the music is on here, and I would plug it into my Hisonic, Hisonic um, speaker thing, and I would play the music for the walk class. And I also would have like a headset or a microphone that would, a lapel microphone that sometimes I would use. But then it got to where I, I, I could talk, I can talk loud enough. And so, and the people that were coming, they knew the routine so well that I didn't even have to basically say. I was, they were almost moving ahead to the next step before I even got there, which, so it, it was funny. But that's what I did. I, I made a little cover for my little iPod so that it doesn't get scratched because I, I leave it just sitting there on the counter and then when if I was going to do a class then I would just grab it and plug it in. Hopefully it's, it's charged. I do check it every now and then because things do run out of battery and so that's what I do when I'm listening to my videos. I'm listening so I love the ones that just talk. If you're, if you're showing me something well, I can crochet on on this. I can crochet and watch and do because it's just regular crocheting. But when I was doing the bracelets, I couldn't watch at all because I had to look to see what I was doing. And that's what I did. That's what I do. And I got to stop talking because now I'm going to start rambling. So you all have a great night. Uh, we, before I go... <clears throat> I got a oh the cuckoo clock is going now the grandfather did now the cuckoo and um but I wanted to tell you that the wind last night was big enough to where it blew my chicken tractor again but it blew it a different direction it drew it blew it by to the pine tree and so I went out and I brought it back in I had to check the electric fence and it was already off so I put the fence down, brought it in. Then I turned the electric fence back on and then uh, Jim went out and he raked some leaves because he said that the leaves could probably be grounding it because they were there was a lot of leaves that have blown up against it. So that's it. Okay, now we can go. I hope you had a great night and have a real good morning when you see this or whenever. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh gosh, I gotta stop. <laughs>